Well, the Wild Center's mission is to, in essence, connect humans and nature. We, um, we want to create a place where people can explore nature at their own pace and make those connections. Having the access to the river and the ability to talk about river quality, water quality, the plants and the animals that live there and what they need to survive is part and parcel of the science that we present. It's classic. It has, you know, the old Adirondack lodges on the side. It has these wonderful little villages that you can experience as you go through. It has deep wilderness feel. It has pristine lakes, you know, historic portage routes. It's stunning. It's, you know, it has everything. I feel like the New York section is really diverse. Then you got about three miles down the Racket River to Racket Falls, and that's about a mile and a half portage. Once you get down there, then you continue on uh, uh, from that point down the Racket. And it's a nice, easy, slow flowing river. You're on that section of the river for another six and a half miles until you come in contact with Stony Creek. You'll see Stony Creek on your right and there's a sign there on, on a tree marking where you go up Stony Creek. It's your first upstream paddle. Leaving the Stony Creek ponds you have Indian Carry. This is a really ancient portage, really deep in the woods, very beautiful. Almost feels like you're hiking. I mean, it's just, it's a really beautiful area. Also one of those that you can think of in a two-step process. The first half is gonna not be wheelable and you're gonna have to carry your boat. Once you reach route three, then you'll be able to throw your, your portage wheels on and take off to your put-in on Upper Saranac Lake. Once you're on Upper Saranac Lake, you won't be in the boat for all that long. You're basically going to go around Indian Point and head to your next portage, which is Bartlett Carry. You're going to be on some bigger lakes, so definitely look out for your weather. Um, things can come up on the Saranac Lakes pretty quickly. One of the really cool things about this section in particular is the only time on this trail that you actually go through locks. You do have an option of bypassing them and running some rapids, but going through the locks is pretty fun. You're gonna start seeing the scenery throughout the whole trail and you're going to start taking your time and enjoy it. I mean part of canoeing and kayaking is enjoying the scenery and the, the pleasure to be out on the waters.